Atheist Alliance International temporarily suspends director over use of slur. On July 11th, 2020, Michael Sherlock, the executive director of Atheist Alliance International, aka AAA, AAI, posted a tweet saying the following, quote, religion is a retarded relic that needs archiving in humanity's library of bad ideas, hashtag atheist, end quote. AAI is one of the largest international atheist organizations in the world and the only atheist organization with special uh, consultative status at the United Nations. When a critic replied, quote, perhaps you should consider retiring the word retarded, Sherlock replied, nah, it works. And quote, in a quote retweet, I am an asshole and I help people escape death, but the words I use define me. This objection it, to me is privileged manifest. Uh, people with real problems don't worry about me using the word retard. What a quote, <laughs> what a cunt, end quote. The Twitter exchange continued and the dumpster fire that I witnessed on Twitter was something else. Um, on July 16th, it was announced on Twitter by AAI that they had suspended Sherlock without pay for one month, and he faces further disciplinary action. Uh, affiliate atheist organizations and advisory board members of AAI have broken ties with the organization over the incident. Sherlock made a public apology for calling the critic a cunt. So you guys go ahead because I'm have a lot to say. Can I read two uh, the tweets by? Um, I'm gonna read Hamad Mehta's and then after this, um, I'm gonna let Rivka speak and then I'm gonna show you. Actually, no, I'm gonna do both of them. Uh, Hamad Mehta and Yasmin Muhammad's tweets. Okay, so Hamad Mehta said um, he had some screenshots of some um, comments that Michael Sherlock posted, and he said these tweets uh, aren't helping either. Oh wait, there's a higher come. There's a higher tweet. Okay, uh, Hamad said it's disturbing to see uh, this offensive language from the head of an atheist group. Uh, it also tells me everything I need to know about the values of the people who work with him. Wow, it's very strange for Hamad to make such a dumb argument. Uh, like maybe like the first line is reasonable. The second line, really, this tell this is. This one line tells you everything you you need to know about everybody working with him. Really, Hamad? Are you fucking serious? What the hell is up with that? Um, that's one. I also want to mention this. Hold on, no, not this one. This one. So Yasmin Mohammed quote tweeted uh, Hamad Mehta, uh, and she said. Uh, meanwhile, Michael Sherlock is on his role at um, Atheist Alliance International. Um, in, no, in his role at Atheist Alliance International has helped countless ex-Muslims. He literally saves lives. What have you done other than attack people who criticize Islam? Do you attack people who criticize Christianity? Uh, one of you is a true humanist and it's not you. Okay, so this is also because uh, Yasmin has a history with Hamad Mehta because Hamad seems to be uh, um, targeting some atheists who are anti-Islam with uh, different standards than what he goes against atheists who are anti-Christianity. Um, and Yasmin was a target of, of that. And that's what Yasmin is referring to. Anyways, uh, Rivka wanted to say something. I actually wanted to make two points. So you were talking about the line that says, this tells me everything I need to know. I, I, I agree with you. I'm not sure that it necessarily does. I also don't think that whether you agree with whether he should have said that or you think it's super offensive or you don't or you're Australian and you don't understand why people get upset about <laughs> the word cunt <laughs> because he's Australian. It's used often. But um I think that um, just because a person says something in a comment like, you know, I think you're a cunt or shut up or whatever, doesn't invalidate everything they've ever done, especially when they're helping people, you know? And, and that goes for a lot of people. Some people who are do, you know, I, honestly, I just don't think it makes everything Michael Sherlock ever did 
and anything he's associated with now, you know, has this stink on it. And no one can go near this pile of poop. I don't necessarily agree with that. You know, wh whatever you think about what he said or what he didn't say, I don't think that you, A, can know everything about any everything, like you pointed out, Armin. And I also don't think that it invalidates the amazing work that he's done. And then the other thing I wanted to say, you know, is I, for me, I don't find, and he did apologize, that I don't find when I'm trying to explain something or make an argument or explain why I used the language that I did to then start name calling, I don't find for me that it's helpful to advance the discussion. I think it shuts it down just in the same way that when you say something somebody not, doesn't like and they say, oh, you're just an Islamophobe because you said, you know, I don't think that, you know, um, women should wear niqabs. Oh, you're an Islamophobe. That, you know, those are ways of shutting down discussion. And I, for me personally, that's not what I would do. So I think that that in and of itself is something that you could talk about. I mean, how can we have a better discussion about this issue without, you know, lowering ourselves into ad hominem attacks or, you know, the morass of name calling, because then it just becomes this, you know, no, I know you are, but what am I kind of thing. And I'm not sure that that's actually helpful in the end, but, um, I still also don't think that whatever your view of the whole thing, it doesn't invalidate the amazing work that Michael Sherlock has yeah. done because he has done some amazing and his yeah, organization. Right. right. So, but okay. So am I the only one that doesn't think that using these words is that big of an issue? Like, I don't like them. I don't use them, but like, like really is this like, they're making it seem like it's a fucking tragedy. Like, ooh, how dare you? Like, we're in polite company. This is like, this is like, oh, I mean, I don't like these words and I don't use them. But are we serious? Like, this is what it's, this is the standards that we need to keep now. Like, oh, we're not, oh, we, yeah, we're like trying to help people, like say that this organization saving people's lives. Or like, no, cut them out. They use the wrong language, like language policing people. Like, maybe, maybe I'm not, am I a horrible person for thinking that somebody using these words? I mean, I just like maybe like, eh, yeah, I don't like it. It's disgusting. I don't use it, but whatever, I guess, you know, if you use it, like, am I being mean to, I mean, why is it that the R word is seen such an uh, offense to people who have mental health issues, but words like insane or moron or stupid, none of that, like, would like, I don't know, like, is this seems like, I mean, even if it is rude and insensitive, does it deserve this big of a backlash? Um, let's do Susanna first, but then okay, Susanna. Okay, first of all, I think it is important to note that there is a big difference between saying retard as a noun, which is towards a person, and retarded, which is an adjective towards slowing something down, right? I saw a lot of tweets, miscommunication, and mis information flying around Twitter saying that he was calling people retards. That's not what happened. Then there were people saying that by association, he was calling religious people retards, which I don't know if you can read correctly, because that's clearly not what he was saying. He was talking about religion as an ideology. Also, <laughs> it drives me up the fucking wall how we have in North America all the liberty in the world and this is how we use it. Okay? To give you some perspective, the person who gave me that story about the quote-unquote honor killing in Jordan was a child. Was a child telling me, please cover this please talk about this because i can't talk about it and we can't talk about it here and i can't speak about it because i have to worry about my sisters becoming victims of honor killings i can't talk about it 
because I don't want my dad to murder me. Okay, these are the stakes we're talking about here. I get messages from, I can't even tell you where, from children in places that I cannot disclose, telling me that we in the West are not going hard enough. We are not going hard enough against the ideologies that keep them in fear, that keep them in hiding, that cause them to be suicidal because they do not see a way out of their environment. And it breaks my heart that the best thing that I can tell them is to work as hard as you fucking can in school so you can get the fuck out of there. The best chance you have is an education so you can go to a Western university in a free society, or if you can't do that, study STEM, study STEM engineering, and get jobs in coding so you can save up money to escape and get a job and work visa in the West. That's the best I can tell them. And every time they're suicidal and they're messaging me, all I can say is work as hard as you can in school, and every time it gets hard, I want you to think about your freedom to motivate you to get to the West because we need people like you who will scream at the top of their lungs against what people face in your culture, okay? And we turn around and police people who are doing the work to save the lives of ex-Muslims who are persecuted. There are few people I know who work as hard, who sacrifice as much as Michael Sherlock does to save these people. That's a fact. And I know this because I work closely with him. I want to disclose that, okay? And I mean, it should also be disclosed that Atheist Republic does publish his books, but that's just a side note. He literally describes himself as a blasphemy atheist. He has books about blasphemy, right? And the whole point, it's Ricky Gervais style to shock you into noticing how dire the situation is, okay? And I, I'm part of me is mad at Michael as well for making it into ad hominem attacks and making it into calling someone a cunt because that's not helpful, right? I also know it's part of his nature just to never back down, to stand up, and when people accuse AAI of not being transparent with his funding, he will open the books to anyone to show them how transparent their funding is. And I know because I've done it myself, they are transparent with their funding. They may not tell you exactly who certain funds are going towards because it is a matter of that person's life and death. Of course, they can't reveal their identity. Okay? I... This might get people mad at me, right? In in the atheist community. That's fine. You can be mad at me. I'm not here to make friends. I am here to provide the platform of so that other people can find community, right? I keep this engine running along with the people you see with me right here right now, okay? And other people who we also can't even disclose because they're on the run, okay? I am here to fight for people's lives, their rights and to promote secularism, to normalize atheism, and to help people who are actively being persecuted, okay? I have people who are in refugee camps, who even though they are in a free society, they have to hide from the other refugees in their community because they will be beaten and persecuted, okay? They're suicidal, and they tell me, there are children living under Islamic rule, telling me that the atheists, the adult atheists in North America and the West are hypocrites. They say they don't care about us. They don't care about our lives. They don't care about what I go through. They're, they just lift us up because they want more on their name. They want to talk a big talk, but they don't care. They don't speak loud enough. They would rather bring down other people who are fighting tooth and nail to save lives over what they like to draw red lines, red lines around criticizing ideologies that get people killed. 
they're more concerned about that than fighting the ideologies themselves. Actually, I don't know if that's a fair statement to make. I'm not going to speculate about who these other people have reaching out to them for help because I don't know. I don't know. And people can make the point, well, you can do all of that and you don't have to use that language. Yeah, you're right, which is why I don't. Okay, but my priority is not drawing red lines around people who are railing against this bullshit. Okay, to quote Armin, we piss on your red lines. Okay, <laughs> like these are the stakes. I personally, I'll speak for myself, all of these people who have a big problem with this, that's okay. I will still work with every single one of them as long as I think that they are trustworthy and have a genuine interest in saving lives. I don't care what your political affiliation is. I don't care what words offend you. My priorities are who will align with me to get shit done. Okay? All the other stuff is unimportant. I will work with religious people. I don't care. Oh my god. I... It, it it really frustrates me. And the reason why I don't get into this Twitter beef uh, I, I don't I don't jump in. I don't put in my defense on Twitter. I don't I'm not making grand statements. The reason why I'm doing that is because I am more busy putting my energy towards the children who are being abused in real life. That's who I'm messaging. I'm not spending my time hopping in mentions and getting into mess because I have better things to do. Okay, I hope more people are focused similarly. You guys can go on. Okay. Well, I Rivka? wanted to make a point um, saying that um, you were saying you you know you were asking why about the word retarded. I think it's been a, a specific campaign by people, um, parents of kids who have developmental disabilities, developmental disability organizations, et cetera, to, to stop using that word. Because some people do did use it as a slur or as a pejorative. But, you know, when I was in high school, I worked for the organization that um, helped disabled students or uh, uh, developmentally disabled students in my state. And it was called the Organization for Retarded Citizens or, you know, the Association for Retarded Citizens. And that wasn't a problem then, but it is now. So it was, it was, it was an organized campaign to, to change that language. Um, well, so that's, that's the, the, the people who are um, against using the word retarded, they, they are okay with using it in that context that you mentioned. They were, but not anymore. Now that name has been changed to the Association of De mm -hmm. Developmentally Disabled Citizens. Because it was okay. an organized campaign in the, I would say, 90s to, to, to change that. Um, so, um, and to Susanna's point, I think that there is some, you know, I'm going to work with who I can work with, too. Even if I disagree with them on a lot of other things, um, I, you know, um, I said that things that I don't necessarily do don't mean that other people have to follow my rules. Um, or that that's the way they feel about it. And obviously he must have felt like it was an appropriate uh, uh, point to have made because he apologized for name calling her. And that isn't something Michael doesn't usually back down if he believes that he has a valid point. So I think that he may have realized, you know what, maybe name calling isn't really helpful, especially in this situation. But um, yeah, the, the, other thing I wanted to say is, you know, a lot of people choose to get offended. You have no right to not be offended. You can be offended. That's fine. But there's no right to no offense. And a lot of times what happens when you are offended is most of the time nothing. But unfortunately, that has now become this thing when people are offended, they want there to be some sort of consequences to the offender, the supposed offender. So that's something okay. we're seeing now too. Wh whatever right. the case so may be, the wherever that's happening. Okay, so the counter to this uh, would be, uh, guys, you're missing the point. Nobody's saying these work doesn't matter. Obviously it's important work, but 
you can do all of this without using foul language and disrespecting people who are mentally challenged or whatever the right terminology is. I don't know. Um, but um, I think what they're, the, the point that they're missing, and again, they're saying like, yeah, I'm some, okay. Another thing they might say is that, look, AI can do all of this work. Um, like Michael Sherlock like, didn't even lose his job. He was just put on leave for a short time and he's going to be back. And, you know, which is good sign that our bringing attention to these words is working. And none of this needs to disable, like stop this comp organization from doing the great that work is doing. And some people were even suggesting that, look, there are other organizations that are organizations that are doing the same similar kind of work without using such file language. So I want to respond to that, by the way. I just want to say like, no, as all of what I've said is bullshit, my devil's advocate, because um, we have very limited resources, right? Like you guys, uh, like AAI doesn't have like a team of people ready at hand to be like, oh, Microsoft like is away for one month. Oh, we were looking after like this ex-Muslim here and that ex-Muslim over there, like so-and-so, you take over from Michael Sherlock, everything just seamlessly going through. Like these are organizations with skeleton crews. Like we, the, the whole atheist movement as a whole is extremely small. Like we don't have, we have one millionth of what we need to be able to take care of other atheists that are dealing with shit like this. Um, like the, every time, like there's a new organization starts, the number of cases that just they get flooded by um, is like thousands of times more than the number of cases that each one of them can actually handle. Um, and soon they realize that they have to be extremely picky about what they pay attention to. Uh, so even one person is okay. Any person not, that used to focus on these cases and them not doing these cases anymore is already a huge loss. But somebody like Marcus Sherlock being removed from doing these cases, that's a more significant loss because this is a person that has a lot of experience we're trying to uh, save these kind of people from a harmful situation and he knows what he's doing and he has a lot of experience and he has a lot of connections and all that stuff right and he's extremely motivated and he's dedicated to doing this so that's a huge cut like you're actually actively putting more people at harm's way because oh i don't like the way that you use these words you're actually actively like because i'm offended fuck these people who need actual help these ex-muslims in heart in dangerous situation in this world that, that need help. Fuck them. I'm offended. Somebody needs to pay attention to my whining, right? Somebody needs to react to Michael Sherlock. He needs to be put on leave because I'm offended, right? So, and I could actually read some of the uh, reaction. Again, even if you guys think it's a bad language, I think this is bad, a bad language. But, I mean, but technically the Kant one is something that Australians just use left and right anyways. I don't know if that's fair. I mean, that seems like more of an Australian thing, more than an insult. I mean, do they, is it is it even an insult? Like, they, they seem to use the word Kant for their, as a compliment as well. I don't know how it works in Australia. It's weird. But it's context right, okay. but but I do want to mention, I do want to go over some of the responses to Yasmin Mohammed's tweet uh, because Seth Andrews responded to Yasmin Muhammad's tweet and saying, I'm glad to be, oh, what the hell? Why is it highlighting different tweets than I, well, because I switched to eight, to my personal account. Okay, so Seth Andrews said, I'm glad to be a friend and fan of Yas, but Hemad Mehta is, a, is good people with a long track record of level-headed, thoughtful, humanistic work. He, like me, thinks retarded and cunt are hugely problematic ultimately aei agreed why are they so fucking problematic just like okay if if they're problematic just don't use them what color what is what is a human right violation that is that's being made here by using these words like okay yeah you, like some people don't like it and they don't use it like who is like what is the? i want to know what is the damage that is being uh, made here by people using these words. I don't understand. Like, this is like really. And by the way, a ARN mentioned that these people are making a bigger, like, he agrees with us that people are making a big deal out of nothing. Technically, he is right. They are making a big deal out of something small. But because of their reaction, this is not a small thing anymore, right? It was a small thing. But because of the reaction, now people are actually, people that used to be in danger are now more in danger than before. So 
it was a small thing until these people decided to make it a big thing. I think Yasmin here responded. Uh, Yasmin said, no, he's not. He, referring to him at Meta. You remember he attacked me for uh, uh, for once retweeting an excellent video by Paul Joseph Watson because it was right-wing adjacent. Meanwhile, he goes on Fox. He has a track record of attacking those who criticize Islam but will ble uh, bleed endlessly about Christianity. Is that the right? I personally don't use that, that language. She's referring to content retard. But you retarded. know as retarded, retarded as a retarded. verb. As a verb, uh, but you know as well as I uh, do that if someone called Christianity retarded or the Pope cunt, uh, he would not be clenching his pearls. He's a hypocrite on many levels. Okay, this is getting too personal about him. At I don't want to get there. I do want to mention what. Um, oh, there's me. <laughs> oh yeah, there's you actually. Yeah, but and there was a response to something you said. I want to address that. This is actually. I'm doing all of this to be get to get to the response to Susanna's Twitter. By the way, guys, follow Susanna on Twitter. Okay, she does value post a lot of valuable things. Okay, so uh, Shannon is saying is AI set up in a way that they okay. So Shannon misses the point entirely here. Okay, this is very okay. So sorry, Shannon, but this is so I don't want to be rude, but not very intelligent. Okay, um, she's I'm I'm, I'm gonna I I, I have a, a debate coming up with Shannon soon an atheist republic so this will be discussed uh, there's a lot of background noise hold on uh shen is saying is aai set up in a way that if one person takes a month leave they don't have the infrastructure to continue that work uh, question mark also is he not willing to continue if he's not uh titled and paid oh my god Shannon, are you fucking serious shannon First of all, no, they're not structured in a way that they could continue if somebody leaves a month for a month because they don't have it's not a fucking giant organization that they could just be like, oh, you're left. It's okay. We have plenty of staff leaving. These are skeleton crew. Atheist organization don't have the resources that Christian, Jewish, Islamic, or Hindu organization have. They have very little funding. They're working with very little resources. Of course, this is going to handicap them. This is like the only person that they have on the job, and you got rid of them. Congratulations, right? Right? And she and look at this, the second one. And is he not willing to continue if he's not titled and paid? Are you fucking serious? This person, so this is the full-time job. This is what he does for a living. So he has to go and help these people and, and not have to and also worry about not paying rent and food and sending his children to school. So he all of that he has like he has to dedicate his all of his time and money and resources to go help these people and he has to do it for free like how many of the, you, these people are willing to let go of everything and dedicate their lives for all of this and f figure out how to pay for food rent and everything else at the same time like this is a standard that they're expecting from michael sherlock that none of them will be able to meet themselves Susanna, I'm going to get to you. I just want to finish this point, okay? Um, Shannon saying, again, I'm perplexed. No one wants anyone canceled. Are you serious? Well, you guys canceled them. The, uh, the ask was simply to reconsider language. I'm not certain why that escalates to this. If there are six Muslim people who need help, how can we help? You can help by not fucking canceling the main guy that is in charge of helping them, okay? Like, what, what are you talking Okay, so Susanna responded with a petition for them to sign, but none of the, uh, which is a, which is good, but none of the petitions that these people sign is going to replace all the work that Michael Shola could have been doing in, in one month. Plus the petition that you sent them is the one that's set up by AAI, which is no, no other organization was there to set up. So this shows that AAI needs all the resources that it could get. And then Bridget, here's another idiotic take. She responds like, oh, look, there are other organizations that are focusing on this case as well. Okay, great then. Like, yeah, yeah, just what, we have one other organization or two other organizations dealing with. So it's all good then. Like, great job. Like, you have the main, you you handicapped the main one that was focused on this, that, that was making the most amount of difference, that was in touch with this person on the ground. Because some other organization has an article on this person, it's good, it's okay for you guys to handicap the main leading organization that was helping this guy. Are you, these people are, I'm sorry, but this is, this is moronic. I'm sorry, Bridget, but you're an idiot. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. Um, 
And just because, well, specifically in the case of Nasser, um, just because there are multiple organizations that are helping him, that doesn't mean that enough is being done. I talk to him on an almost daily basis, and I know for a fact that there is not enough being done. Plus, Humanist International did not provide actionable steps for the public to take to support Nasser the way the AAI did. Okay, that's what I care about. What can the public do? What is actionable? to help these people in person, right? Because especially a lot of them cannot be identified. He's one case where he could be identified. Okay, so in regards to Shannon's point about how AAI is structured, can he not do this without pay? There was a lot of misinformation going around about this. Michael Sherlock has been continuing to handle the charges the, the cases that are in his charge, right, on his own time and not as a representative of AAI, okay? He lives, breathes, and bleeds this work, okay? So these cases are still being handled, okay, but their capacity is cut, right? And... I'm frustrated that there is a that there is now a damaged reputation, right? And now people are going to feel for whatever reason less ready to support the work of AAI because of this incident. They could maybe bring up other incidents because there was another incident that got all dragged into this that I don't even have the time to go into and I don't even fully under understand. Um Oh my god. So just because Can I just say something yeah. mm -hmm. quick really quickly? Mm -hmm. None of these groups have done a fraction none of these people that are actually now making AAI oh like we need oh what's what's up with AAI? This is a questionable organization. They hire people that use bad language and they're damaging AAI's reputation and reducing the number of people that will work with AAI. None of them themselves have done a fraction of what AAI has managed to do for the people that need it the most. But go on. I'm, I've just burnt out my brain. You guys can tell. I just wanted to say, though, you were asking, like, what's the big deal? I think the only thing for me, having had my own business, run a, an organization, is there is an internal question that could be asked and say, do we want, how do we want the head of our organization to represent himself? And I think that that's a fair question for an organization to ask. And I'm not saying whether I agree or disagree with the language. That's not what I'm saying. I think internally, that is a fair question for an organization to ask, to say like, you know, how do you want, you know, you represent this organization, not just yourself, and we maybe want to come to some sort of understanding of how we we would like ourselves to be perceived in terms of how we, you know, give statements to uh, the public or how we, you know, respond to criticism. Those are fair questions and those are actually fair criticisms for an organization to make and to discuss within themselves because the, that, that's, a, that's a valid thing to talk about for any organization, whether you're talking about, you know, a gas station and how you want your employees to treat their customers or how you want them to talk about or whether you're talking about this organization. So there's those are two things I think that are separate. You know, well, there's this, well, and then there's the fact that he's done incredible okay. amount of work, and by focusing on this, it could detract yeah. from the larger mission. Yes. So I think that those are are both really good points, and I'm not making any kind of judgment about using the language or not using the language. I'm simply talking about from an administrative point of view, from an organizational point of view, there are, those are fair questions 
to yeah, be you, asked. You, you're repeating yourself, Rivka. Okay, but okay, good. Yes, they're, they're fair questions to ask. But let me be transparent about something, okay? Let, I, I know I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but... Oh, please don't do this to me. <laughs> but in response to what Rivka said about using right language, if anybody had a slightest glimpse about the way we talk, Atheist Republic staff speaks <laughs> off camera, okay? The way we, the language that we use and the things that we use in our professional meetings, we would have been canceled on the spot. Like we would like, like no hesitation. Even the people, even... 90% of the people in the live chat that are supporting us, if they could listen to like five minutes. Why are you way, doing this to me right now? They would like, they would just switch sides like this, but go on. Just go. Well, I want to say something. I didn't say right language. I said, and I also said, how do you want to be represented? It doesn't matter how to a lot of people, what you say behind closed doors with your friends. Some people it does for my opinion, you know, what you were saying, what, if you're talking from an administrative point of view, it's fair to say like, look, when you're in the public, when you're responding, when you're representing us, we can have this discussion. Okay. But so, but I also want to be very clear is I'm not making a judgment about what's right language or wrong language. Right. But I also think that this this case, what happened, needs to be used as an example for cancel culture and the damages of cancel culture. Like this needs to go down as how something so insignificant and small is actually through cancel culture is actually causing real significant harm. Right. So that's a, oh, Chopin keeps going in and out today. Susanna. Well, first of all, they would say that this is not cancellation. They, there were people who are saying that no one who was in the criticism of Sherlock case asked for this. They're saying, well, no one asked for this. AI just decided to do this. Well, yeah, they decided to do it because of the, the reaction. Right. And in regards to what Armin was saying about our internal conversations, God damn you, first of all. <laughs> What? I'm not ashamed. Come at me. <laughs> we have our a... internal conversations are no one's business. Those are yes. our internal conversations. Well, I didn't say I'm what concerned. I didn't say what they are. I'm just saying it will make these people's heads explode. Armin and I had the most buck wild conversation last night. Hey, uh, I'm I'm leaving it at that. Okay, okay bro. Let, um, let let's let uh, Chopin speak because he hasn't spoken. And yes. he might disappear in any second. He keeps coming in and out. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. When I when I saw the tweets, I the first tweet I saw was by him and criticizing Michael. And Michael is a good friend of mine. I I have talked to him quite often, and I never found him like to be a bad person or to be an asshole in any context. And so when I saw this, I was like. Yeah, Michael is my friend. I know he's not an asshole. And so I made this post about saying like, hey, this uh, retarded, the word retarded can be used in different contexts. And I don't believe Michael is using that in any sense of offense to anyone. And like the, uh, the point is like the word retarded got so offensive when North Americans use that word to offend uh, people with mental disabilities or mental uh, degradation or something. But that's the thing, like, it's a North American thing. Like, the rest of the world doesn't need to follow what North Americans uh, got for themselves. This is part of the North Americans, and the rest of the world just doesn't need to follow the same kind of language. But here's the thing, like, after that, some of my friends came and said, well, how that language, I mean, grammatically speaking, that is still not correct and it can be uh, offensive. So I said, okay, that's fine if you say it could be offensive. Maybe Michael could have said it better, but I don't think he literally meant any offense by that. I mean, if you call religion a uh, retarded really, I mean, when I saw the tweet, I didn't even understand why this is being such a huge case. Like, what's wrong with it at first? 
And after that, uh, someone pointed me that what she said, like when someone pointed that out, hey, could you use some better language? And he called her cunt. And that's when I got a bit like, why, why do you need to go to this name calling? Like, you can, you are all skeptics. You can just have a civilized conversation about why it is wrong or why it is right and everything. But why just go into name calling each other and everything? And that was when I was a bit like not for Michael because I didn't like that. But then after I got to know like it's a very Australian thing. You use can't like whenever and everything. So I. I'm not like strictly like against Michael because of that, because he's Australian decent because of that, he could be like using Kant in a very non-offensive way and just, uh, but however, just ignoring that, I mean, I still think it's not like this should have been, this issue should have grown so huge on Twitter. Like, yeah, I, Michael has been suspended, but like Armin said, I agree with him on that because atheist organizations there are not many atheist organizations who work for human rights and even in them they don't have like infinite resources like other people do like even religious organizations have a lot of help from many people but atheist organizations don't so suspending someone who is working on an active case of nasa mary for a month has like really affected the case in a way I was going to say whenever Shobham speaks, I tune out, but then he said Armin is right, so I'll take that back. So, okay, I mean, no, 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 Armin, Armin you're, you're an odd flight no, flash. No, sorry, sorry no, that came out no. wrong. Armin, you're an odd flight flash. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Shobham, we had a conversation, and I'm curious if you still feel this way. So, we talked about um, you were saying basically like, and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you were saying basically, like, I don't understand why, like, North Americans in specific um, expect everyone else to have the same standards of language that they have. Like, I mean, if I was being silly, I would call it linguistic imperialism. Um, <laughs> but so I'm curious if you still feel that way, because that was your original take. So like, that, that, that is something like, if something's like language, why do North Americans think like, because they, like I said, they did this they made the word retarded an offensive word towards people with mental disabilities and that's upon them like the rest of the world doesn't need to follow why do they expect like everyone has to i mean i still find i don't use that word i don't like i don't use the uh, offensive words that's just me you can i mean if i see someone using that word i can uh, say that hey this word is offensive. I would rather you don't use this and use some other word or and it's something like that. But if they don't, let's just say they're an asshole. I mean, maybe I will take a screenshot and show some of uh, show it to some of my friends. But like this huge, like the issue got this huge that this like the atheist community just got separated on like totally polar sides. Like there was already like there were are some right-wing atheist and the left-wing atheist, but one wing was still like, mostly ha had their like similarities, but this issue made them like really, really polarized on a very small thing. I mean, I get it could be wrong. It is offensive and everything, but I don't think this issue needed to go this way. Just, just going on record that if I ever get sent back to Iran and I'm in trouble and I'm being executed, and if the case manager uses the words retard and cunt, uh, please, like, I'm okay with that. Like, if they if they're try if they're helping me get out of that situation, I'm not be I'm not gonna be very picky, even if they use some more f language more foul than that. I, it's okay. Please don't remove them from managing my case. Just wanted to have that on record in case it ever happens to me. But go on, Susanna. Oh my God, I'm gonna fight so hard if that ever happens. Yeah, the people who are facing deportation to be killed by their family in ISIS don't care however there are communities who do care i acknowledge that um the mad gatheist was saying earlier in the chat how can you support atheist republic with your limited means um share our videos hit like and subscribe 
hit the little bell notification and then do all so you actually see when we go live. That's an easy thing that you can do to support us. Um, Armin, can you right, go? Right. Can Actually, I want to mention, do not, do not, do not support us financially if you are struggling financially. I have to keep repeating yes because I'm I keep getting messages with like, oh, I'm financially broke, so I'm only giving you $1 a month. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? If you're financially broke, don't give us $1 a month. Like, what, save every, your money. Like, okay, only support us financially if you're not if you're not even going to notice the money that you're going to give us, okay? There are other ways to support us. Like Susanna mentioned, you can share our videos, you can like and all that stuff. But go on, Susanna, sorry. Um, can you go to the 35-minute mark and highlight the comment by Bridget? Oh, yeah, okay, hold on. Uh, no, no, in the chat, in the in the comments. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thirty five minutes. Oh, here. Okay, okay. I know. I know For me, it's eight thirty p.m. Yeah. Okay. 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 Bridget. Bridget. Oh, here. Is this the Bridget on Twitter? Yes. yes. So. Hi, Bridget. Thank you for joining us. Um, for those who don't know, Bridget is the secretary of the um, on the board of the. Um, uh, let me make sure I get the name correct. Oh, hi, Inter Bridget. International Association of Atheists. So this is different than AAI. Um, Bridget Which go, saying, go check out their website. They do great work. But go yes, um, IAA and AAI both do good work. Um, so Bridget is saying I had nothing to do with what happened to Michael. I checked with AAI to make sure their cases were being handled because we have resources I made sure. And then, um, uh, yeah, so... And Bridget, also, she also she also says I have no case to make. All I cared about, what if the cases were being handled? Okay, so this is my wait, fault. I was I yeah. assumed something that she said that she didn't actually mean. So my fault, my bad. I was being a moron there. But go on. Thank you. See, this is what I talk about, Bridget. We were not implying that you had anything to do with what happened to I Michael. Was. I was. You wrongfully. were. Okay. No, 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 no. I okay. So this is she said. Here's the thing. No, I didn't imply that she had anything to do with it. But I, when she was asked, when she said there seems to be other organizations that are handling this, I was. I think um, I thought that she's just saying that it's okay that we lost Michael Sherlock. We could get rid of him because there are replacements. And I said that that was stupid because there's very limited number of people that are handling this case. Uh, and very limited resources, losing somebody as important as Michael Sherlock is a huge loss. But it seemed like what she's saying is that I'm the one that she wasn't being stupid. I was the one being stupid because she was genuinely just wanting to make sure that somebody handling the case. She wasn't suggesting anything. I just read that into her comment, which was stupid and unfair of me. So glad that she was here to clarify. Sorry about that, Bridget. My fault. Yay. So. Armin, you really thing. need to learn how to be best and stop bullying people. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Ali Trump. always says to him. <laughs> That's okay, fine. Yeah, use the, the Trump thing. The okay, funny go. thing is, is that obviously Armin has been stirring up a lot of shit on Twitter recently over the past like two months um, in Facebook because of various not in it's explicitly BLM things, but kind of in that vein. And so people are like, you know, also going after us on the cancellation crusade. No, I'm kidding. Um, Bridget and Armin have had I'll quite cancel a few. myself before you get to the chance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They've had quite a few exchanges on Facebook, which I've just watched like, holy shit. I would like to clarify, Armin is not the leader of Atheist Republic. I'm the leader of Atheist Republic, okay? So when people are like, I I AR, is this who you want as a leader? I'm like, first of all, <laughs> sir or ma'am, that's me. Right. Second of all, I would like to see any of you fools try to put Armin in a corner. Do you know how hard I work to try to keep him in time out? Okay, what you see him say on social media... That's toned down after I've good, talked to him. That's his good, his good stuff. 
Yes, this is. After are you guys? I are you guys trying to? Down. Are you guys defending me? Because this is not helping. You guys are making me. The only thing I want no, you we are to do to get is not fully shove palm so much. It's actually starting to make me uncomfortable. Okay, for anybody that thinks because <laughs> I'm not the leader. Okay, hold on. Let me, for anybody that thinks I'm I'm not the leader and Susanna is, so it's okay because I'm the problematic person and Susanna isn't. You guys have no fucking idea if you knew. If you had any idea about what Susanna says and stands for, you guys like, That's oh my lie. god, you would be like, Armin is a fucking saint. Trust well, me. You didn't have no lie. Did you see all um, my? Did you see all? Um, I was like, <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, Bridget is clarifying. She's very much against cancel culture. That's great. Oh, we knew that. You did? I did. By the way, yeah, it was a joke. Power... She wrote LOL too. We knew she was. Oh, yeah, now I know. But go on. Yeah. Shut up. No, I was uh, like about Armin being an asshole to me about that. Like, I don't take offense like at anyone if anyone tries to like genuinely offend me. Like, they're calling me by slurs and everything. I don't take offense because I go through so much shit. That if I take offense from everything people uh, send at me, then I'll break down. Okay, and like seriously, like you don't know what my own parents called me after I came out and what kind of slurs they used and everything. You don't know. And if I if I just keep taking offense at everything, like I'll, the reason why I'm not like very expressive and get very excited at things because if I do, I'll first I'll scream and then I'll cry. That's literally like what will happen to me. And that's why I don't, I try not to get too excited at things. So yeah, I mean, I don't really mind like when friends, I mean, among friends, if if someone considers me a friend and I consider them a friend that they, you, using like attacks personal attacks plus at me i would just think of those as friendly gestures because the condition being they would also have to be okay if i use them. So that's <laughs> my somebody condition. wake me up when shabham is done oh my <laughs> god here we go again <laughs> all, right. Man. all right this all right. is gone the right. longest yeah. news one i think we've ever one of the longest ones yeah ever. All right, All right guys. All right. We need to go go everyone so we can say really offensive stuff when you behind everyone's yes. back. Yes, let the dark <laughs> shit start after this. All right. All right, bye guys. Oh. Thank you everybody in the live chat. Thank you Soha, ARN, uh Shakila, uh, Sar, what is, okay, Soraya. Soraya. I Soraya is like a regular here and I still don't know if I'm saying his name right. And so, like he's one of the most best people in our live chat and I pff, I'm just bad with names. Um, Suha, Suha always with the like and share, always helping us, reminding people to like and share. She's awesome. Did I make her admin on this? Yes, I already did. Uh, love you guys and talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye. 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 News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, 
but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not. We don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on the on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 